Hey folks, let's take a look at a few examples of identifying independent, dependent variables and controls for experiments based just on the experimental question. So a quick refresher, independent variables, those are the ones, that's the one in the experiment that we're deliberately controlling in such a way as to make it change. We are changing that variable because we think it'll have some noticeable outcome on another variable, the dependent variable. So back to our pendulum lab, we changed the length of the string, that was our independent variable, and we thought that that was going to have an impact on the period of the pendulum swinging back and forth. And that period was our dependent variable. Controls are the things that we think maybe will have an impact on the dependent variable as well, so we want to make sure that we don't accidentally change those. We only want to change the independent variable. So for example, with the pendulum lab, we didn't change the length and the weight and how far we pulled it back. We only changed one of those. We kept the weight and how far we pulled it back constant. So a few examples for independent, dependent, and controls. We've got Tylenol versus Advil. What works better on a headache? So for this experiment, our independent variable, the thing we would be changing, would be uh, to give somebody either Tylenol or Advil for their headache. So that's our independent. Which medicine do they get? The dependent would be how well does it work on your headache? So maybe you, uh, you know, rate on a scale of one to five, how bad does your head hurt when you take the medicine, and how bad does it hurt, I don't know, a half hour later, something like that. Controls on this, uh, it's probably useful to have the same person or the same people involved in this trial um, for multiple different headaches. So sometimes you get Tylenol, sometimes you get Advil. I know I've heard from people that uh, one works better than the other for their headaches in particular, so that way we don't just happen to get uh, a bunch of people who say that you know, Tylenol works better for them um, you know, in, in our trials. We want to have kind of a mixture of uh, you know, people there. Um, other controls would be you know, taking the recommended dosage, not taking extra of either of those, and it should be the only painkiller we wouldn't want to take. Advil and Tylenol, and then report the results as being one or the other. Next question. Do my students learn more by taking notes or by watching a movie? So independent variable would be the thing that we are changing on purpose. We either deliver content by having kids watch a movie or having students taking notes from some kind of presentation. Dependent variable. Uh, we want to figure out, do they learn more? So probably a test of how much they've learned would be important here. Um, and then controls, everybody takes the same test. It should be the same content on uh, both the video and the notes. Uh, and it probably should be something where everybody starts with about the same level of background knowledge. So something brand new would work really well. Nobody's heard about this thing before. Some groups are going to get uh, their learning through a video and some are going to get it through taking notes. How much could I speed without getting pulled over? Officially, the recommendation is zero. Don't speed at all. Follow the speed limit here. But that doesn't seem to be practiced for most people on the, uh, the interstate there. So uh, the independent variable on this would be how much you're speeding by. So how much over the speed limit you're traveling. Um, we'd probably want to have multiple different people trying uh, different speeds on something like this. And then we compare that speed to how often they get pulled over. Now, for a trial or an experiment like this, you just don't get pulled over that often, I'm guessing, even if you are speeding by very much. Um, but uh, you know, we, we want to be able to get some numbers there. So maybe this is like a lot of people involved in this trial or over a really long time period. Um, but this is kind of a tough one to compare. And the other piece to this the controls, um, we'd want to do things like have similar or identical cars. Um, I think I've read before that sports cars are more likely to get pulled over than like a, I drive a Prius or so something like that. Um, we'd want to make sure that we're driving at similar times of day in similar areas um, so that we don't have some, some people driving by a speed trap whereas others are off uh, you know, in the country by themselves. Um, a, few, a few controls we ought to have there. Mm. Let's get through a few of these. Okay. This one. Does it matter if I skip the conditioner for my hair? 
I found no difference whatsoever. I'm curious if that's a universal thing or if it's just me, but it uh, doesn't matter. Okay, so we'd have to identify how we're going to test this. I mean, the independent variable on this, sometimes I wash my hair with conditioner, sometimes I wash it without conditioner, and probably want to get a large number of people involved in this. Uh, as far as the dependent variable, maybe pick out one criteria about your hair. How shiny is your hair or how soft is your hair and some way to rate that quality. Um, and then the controls, we'd want to make sure that we're doing other things the same way every time. So like the shampoo that you're using and the fact that you are still shampooing your hair, um, you know, the same way. Uh, how frequently we're, we're using shampoo versus using shampoo and conditioner together. Those things should be standardized for everybody. And it might make a difference whether we're talking about uh, you know, short hair versus long hair or different colors of hair could make a difference on this. So I want to keep those standardized, maybe do separate experiments where we would test those things. Which phone has the longest lasting battery? Uh, independent variable on this would be changing out the model of phone. So maybe get 10 or 15 uh, common popular types of phones. Um, and we're going to see how long they keep their charge. So to set this up initially uh, for controls, we want to have everything charged to, say, 100%. Um, we can't have some phones running like really intensive apps and others just sitting there being unused. So we need to decide what exactly we're going to run on each of these phones. Uh, probably makes sense to have like a common operating system on these if that's possible um, and you know, have the same apps running. Uh, temperature might make a difference here, so cold area versus warm area that might um, have an impact on this. Um, how old the battery itself is, so if we're testing some brand new batteries against some older batteries, the older batteries probably won't perform as well as they would have. Which type of fertilizer works best on grass? Independent variable on this would be the type of fertilizer, so lots of different brands. Uh, dependent variable, something about the effect on the grass. So maybe we mow the lawn and then some areas get one type of fertilizer, others get a different type, or um, this area gets fertilizer and this area gets none. So we can see, does the fertilizer work at all? Um, and then, you know, wait like three days or four days and measure the length of the, the grass in those different areas. We mowed it so it all started at the same length and then um, compare the lengths afterward. Uh, I noticed a change in color, too, so maybe we could uh, analyze color changes with the fertilizer. As far as controls, you'd want to have all the grass start at the same length. You don't want to apply the fertilizer to areas of the grass that are really different in their starting health. Like, this area is really healthy and looks great already, and this area looks kind of crummy. We don't want to have separate treatments also starting with separate uh, base points on that. Um, so, anyway, uh, we had a few more that we talked about in class, but... That ought to give you a good, uh, uh, good reference for comparing uh, different experiments with independent and dependent and controls. See you tomorrow.